Hi guys, my name is Harsh Goyla and I'm an investor, trainer and mentor in stock markets. Friends, today's session is going to be very interesting. Why? Because today I'm going to clear all your basics. After this session, there would not be any confusion. On a daily basis, I've been asked questions like, Harsh, what is stock markets? Can I invest or trade in stock markets without having knowledge about it? Can I create income? Harsh, how do the prices move? Harsh, I am not that smart. Can I invest in stock markets? Harsh, can I make a career in stock markets? And I get it because at this stage you might be very confused, which is completely all right. Now there are two possibilities. First, either you are still studying or you're in college, right? Now as a student, you have got the motivation of stock markets from somewhere, from maybe your friend or a book or a video. Now you have decided, okay, I want to explore stock markets, but you don't know where to start. Or on the other hand, you are someone who is in a job, who goes to office. You know it for a fact that investments and saving is mandatory for you. But you don't know where to invest. There are too many options available. There's decision fatigue. I'm in office or I'm studying in stock markets. Ki. Am I right? So what do we start doing? We start investing randomly at random places on other people's advice, which gets us nowhere. So after watching this session, after putting these two hours with me, trust me, all those doubts in your head, they will be crystal clear. More so, your knowledge will be more than 70% of the Indian retail investors in our country. Now, moving forward, let me just tell you the entire structure of the session. First, we are going to take it, what is stock market? Second, we are going to understand how do the prices move? Third, Nifty, BSE, SEBI, Sensex, ye sab hota kya hai? Fourth, case studies. Because case studies se, we'll see live examples and we'll understand those concepts much better. Fifth, types of investor and types of studies. Kitne type ke investor hote hain, kitne type ki studies hoti hain. Sixth, a strategy so that you can start applying it right now. And seventh, and the most important, an action plan. I'm going to give you a complete action plan, which is a bonus after the session. Why? Because my entire purpose of me sitting here in front of this camera is that, ki dost aap action lo. If you don't take action, if you just watch the session, then the entire point is defeated. So my bonuses I will give you at the end of the session will help you to take that action. Again, before starting the session, I want to mention some rules and there are four simple rules. Rule number one. Simplicity. We have to talk in simple terms. You'll see when you talk to people or if you talk to investors, majority of the investors, when you ask them what is stock markets, they'll throw big jargons at you, this and that. Nahi chahiye, yaar. Agar simple shabdo mein baat nahi kar sakte, to baat nahi aati. To rule number one, we'll talk in simple terms. Rule number two, when you're watching this video, sit in an upright position. Properly betho, table pe rakho, then watch the video. Why? Because scientifically proven, your retention is maximum. If you are late ki video, then there is again kuch point. Hai. Rule number three, no distractions. If you are watching this session on a laptop, then close the rest of the tabs and screen ko full screen kar do so that you don't see the other suggested videos on YouTube. Keeps your distractions. If you are watching this session on a mobile phone, make sure your notification column is turned off. Rule number four, which is the most important, is that watch this video till the end. Because you know what they say, half knowledge is more dangerous than no knowledge at all. Now my friends, let's begin with stock markets. Now I'm going to start from the very, very basics so that everything is crystal clear. Now, first of all, let's take an example. Let's, uh, let's take uh, Mr. Ravi Mehta. Thick. Now, assuming, again, for I'm taking a very hypothetical situation. I'm just assuming. Assuming that Ravi Mehta has a company called Green Tech Energy. Right? Example ke lai, there is Mr. Ravi Mehta who has a company called Green Tech Energy. Now he wants to expand his business even more. Ab expansion le kya yoga? Paisa. Now how much money will Ravi Mehta require to expand his business? It can be anything, right? 
generally for your major expansion the sum can be from 100 to 500 crores yes from 100 to 500 crores but again abhi main utne bade figures nahi lena chahta i want to stick to simplicity right so i am taking the figure of 1 lakh again assuming 1 lakh a figure is a big amount main isko hypothetical figure le raha hu why am i taking it 1 lakh not 100 crores for ease of maths fair now if you are in ravi mehta's position and you need 1 lakh to expand your business what all options would you go to? Where will you arrange the money? First of all, personal savings. Then, where will you go? Family. First of all, we will go to mom and dad. Then we will go to friends. Then, I mean, first we have our personal savings. Then we will tap into our family. Then our friends. So, we will stay in the inner circle. Right? Now, जब तक मामा चाचा मुकेश अंबानी नहीं है तब तक इसका कुछ फायदा है नहीं तो इसको हम कैंसिल आउट करते हैं देन द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज अ बैंक नाउ वी आर सिटिंग इन अ कंट्री वेर पीपल कांट गेट एन एजुकेशन लोन सैंक्शन फॉर देम जबकि आरबीआई ने एजुकेशन लोन को प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लोन में रखा है Right. So, do you think Mr. Ravi Gupta will go to a bank and say, "I want to get them. I want money from my company. Will they get loan? No. Or if he gets it, then what is the interest rate the bank is going to charge him? Extremely high. Can an entrepreneur survive on that interest rate for long? No. So, banks could be cut. So, what is the option left? The option left, my friend, is stock markets. Yes, the option left is stock markets. इसको जितना चाहे हम stock markets को complicate कर सकते हैं, but in simplicity, stock markets is a tool. Stock markets is a tool that entrepreneurs like Ravi Mehta can borrow the money not from their family, not from their bank, but they can borrow ten rupees from billions of people. Simple. Stock market है ही इसलिए. So it is very necessary to understand stock market है क्यों. तो आप समझ रहे हो वॉट इज अ वॉट इज अ रीजन फॉर एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट इट इज अ ब्रिज सो दैट ऑन्ट्रप्रिनर्स कैन गेट मनी फॉर देम सेल्स फैर आगे बढ़े नाउ रवि विल इशू एन आई पी ओ वॉट इज एन आई पी ओ एन आई पी ओ इज ए इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफरिंग अगेन गाइज आई प्रोमिस यू आई विल नॉट बी यूजिंग एनी डिफिकल्ट वर्ड बट आई विल बी यूजिंग दो टर्मिनोलॉजी जो आप न्यूज में सुनोगे सो आई वॉन्ट दैट आफ्टर वॉचिंग द सेशन When you watch the news or when you do anything, तो आपको समझ आना चाहिए right? So an IPO is an initial public offering. Now how much amount does he want? वन lakh. Now वन lakh को he will divide into price and quantity. Now let's say he says rupee वन share and the the price of वन share can be वन rupee and the quantity of shares can be वन lakh shares or it can be टू रुपीज पर शेयर एंड द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ दिस कैन बी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड शेयर और इट कैन बी रुपीज टेन एंड द क्वान्टिटी विल बी टेन थाउजेंड शेयर राइट इसका हमेशा टोटल कितना होगा वन लैख सिंपल दीज प्राइस इज नोन एज द फेस वैल्यू Right now, face value can be one rupee, two rupee, five rupees, ten rupees. It can be anything. It does not matter. Right at this point, this is not important. Right. So, price into quantity. Another concept I want to clear is market capital. ये हम आगे जाके use करेंगे. तो आपने बहुत जगह सुना होगा कि the market capital of this company, the blue chip company, the small cap company, price of the company is the market capital. Right. So, rule number one of stock markets. Never judge a share on its share price. Okay. Now, if you give you an example, now Reliance is trading at seventeen hundred, give or take, where MRF is trading at sixty five thousand. Again, give or take. I'm not sharing the exact prices. Now, which is the bigger company, Reliance or MRF? Reliance, right? But MRF's price is too high. वो इसलिए हो सकता है कि Reliance has one crore shares quantity of shares, while MRF has only ten thousand quantity of shares. तो बड़ी मार्केट कैपिटल किसका पड़ा हुआ रिलायंस सो ऑलवेज सी प्राइस इनटू क्वांटिटी द मार्केट कैपिटल सो व्हेन वी हैव टू जज अ शेयर वी ऑलवेज जज अ शेयर ऑन इट्स मार्केट 
capital. Excellent. Now, in this case, 1 lakh is the market capital for Ravi Mehta. Clear? अगर समझ नहीं आया है वीडियो रिवाइंड करके दोबारा देखो बट क्लियर करना बहुत जरूरी है नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम दैट रवि डिसाइड्स कि ठीक है आई वांट टू लिस्ट माय शेयर एट द फेस वैल्यू ऑफ टेन रुपीज आई वांट टू लिस्ट माय शेयर एट द फेस वैल्यू ऑफ टेन रुपीज ठीक मानते हैं कि आईपीओ वॉज अ सक्सेस मजा आ गया आईपीओ वॉज अ कंप्लीट सक्सेस ऑल द शेयर वॉज सोल्ड so all the shares were sold ravi mehta will get the money ravi mehta will go and he will start his company okay i know the drawing is bad but you get the point right so clearly aapko dikh raha so ravi mehta jis kaam ke liye zara aaye the the reason he chose stock markets is that completed yes right so this is how a listing of a stock is actually done now when this stock is listed अब ये आता है हम इन्वेस्टर्स के पास नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ व्हाट्स द जर्नी ऑफ द स्टॉक आफ्टर इट बीइंग लिस्टेड नाउ एट व्हाट प्राइस विल दिस स्टॉक स्टार्ट एट हमने इसको इशू किया था टेन रुपीज में वी इशूड 10,000 shares, right? This was the price we issued it at. Now, what, according to you, is the price it should start at? 10 rupees, right? It was the face value. अब एक बार stock list हो गया तो उसका ऐसा graph बन जाएगा, price graph सामने सामने देखा है। उसके बाद ये share ऊपर जाए, नीचे जाए, गोल गोल घूमता रहे। भाई इसको जानना ही तो पूरा challenge है। so people keep on trying to analyze ki why do the share price move up and down what reasons can be there that the share price move up and down so people try to predict it usme to profit hai hmm now for that usse bhi main niche aana chahta hu tell me why do the share prices move is the promoter of the company fluctuating the share prices इस गवर्नमेंट फ्लक्चुएटिंग शेयर प्राइसेस ये शेयर प्राइस ऊपर नीचे जाती क्यों है इसको समझना बहुत जरूरी है एंड ट्रस्ट मी यू नो वी गोड लॉट ऑफ कॉलेजेस हम सेशंस करते थे बहुत एमबीए कॉलेजेस में स्टूडेंट से पूछता हूं अच्छा मुझे बताओ वाई डू शेयर प्राइसेस मूव दे गिव मी रैंडम वेग आंसर्स एंड रैंडम आंसर्स लाइक एंड दे विल थ्रो बिग वर्ड्स एट मी सॉरी इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ स्टूमुलस पैकेजेस फाइनेंशियल बजट फिजिकल डेफिसिट दिस दिस दैट दैट अगर आप मुझे कोई चीज़ आसान शब्दों में नहीं समझा सकते तो आपको वो चीज़ खुद नहीं आती सो दैट इज़ वाई वी आर गोन टॉक इन एक्सट्रीमली सिंपल टर्म्स नाउ टेल मी व्हाट रीजंस कैन देयर बी दैट वुड इफेक्ट द शेयर प्राइस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर शेयर टेक एन एग्जांपल क्या क्या चीज़ हो सकती है कंपनीज प्रॉफिट डेट कॉम्पिटिशन राइट देन देर कैन बी डेमोग्राफी लोग कितने मैटर कर सकते हैं राइट इफ यू सी Patanjali has overtook Nestle in our country. Why? Because demography, जो हमारे लोग हैं, they relate more to brands like Patanjali compared to Nestle. Government matters, of course the government matters. The corporate governance matters. Company की leadership क्या है? अगर Vijay Mallya एक और share issue करेगा, IPO निकालेगा, तो will you buy it? No. Right? So a lot of things matters. Now tell me, what if there's a actual war between US and North Korea? Will the markets move up or down? Down. What happens if there is a terrorist attack in a country? What happens if there is a natural disaster in a country? So now you will see these markets are so sensitive that they are affected by anything under the sun. Anything under the sun. So these are the reasons which I am listing. We can list thousands of reasons like this. But today I want you to get the basics of it. What is the true reason because of which the prices move up or down? Fair? Now, three points is simple. Hai. I'm going to tell you all the three points. Then, hum unko mila ke, I'm going to give you the answer. Why do the share prices move up and down? And how do the prices move up and down? Point number one. Human psychology. Now, tell me this. If I have a pointed gun here, I load it, I trigger it only, I am going to point it. So what will be your reaction? Will you be very happy? No, you will be scared. You will surrender. 
आप मुझसे पूछोगे सर हो क्या क्या हो स्टेप सेल्फ डिफेंड करो सो देर आर फोर फाइव रिएक्शंस इन विच इवन यू विल ऑपरेट आई विल ऑपरेट अ चाइनीज अ जैपनीज एंड अगेन एन एशियन एन अमेरिकन अ ब्रिट ऑल ऑफ अस विल ऑपरेट इन द सेम वे बिकॉज ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी इज एब्सोल्यूटली द सेम एवरीवेयर दिस इज पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू मार्केट प्राइस नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज द मार्केट प्राइस नाउ टेल मी नाउ सपोज इफ अगेन इज अ हाइपोथेटिकल सिचुएशन आपको समझाने के लिए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेल योर हाउस एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेल योर हाउस वॉट इज द प्राइस यू विल गेट अब आपके दिमाग में एक फिगर आ गया राइट इट कैन बी टेन लैक्स फाइव लैक्स ट्वेंटी लैक्स थर्टी लैक्स टेन करोड वन करोड इट कैन बी एनी थिंग बट आपके दिमाग में एक दैट इज वन फिगर दैट यू हैव गॉट इन योर हेड दैट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सेल माई हाउस आई विल सेल टू दैट रेट एम राइट सो लेट्स अज्यूम दैट दैट फिगर इज फिफ्टी लैक्स तो आई एम अज्यूमिंग द फिगर इज फिफ्टी लैक्स फॉर यू नाउ टेल मी हु हैज डिसाइडेड फिफ्टी लैक्स दैट इज माई क्वेश्चन Has your RW decided that your house will sell at fifty lakhs? Has your state government decided that? Has the central government decided that? ये decide कर कौन रहा है? Who is fixing this price? कोई बता? Some will say buyers. अब if buyers पे price आए तो if I am the buyer, I would like to buy it at the, at the lowest price. I won't say fifty lakhs. I would say two lakhs. Seller, if seller effect कर रहा है, तो seller would like to sell at the highest price. वो fifty lakhs ही तो पांच करोड़ बोलेगा. so who decides the price simple logic here now if i suppose want to sell out my house example what will i do i will go to my property broker now my property broker will tell me that sir the house next to you the adjacent house your neighbor's house was sold at 50 lakhs so what is my benchmark price 50 lakhs Now, if the market conditions are good, demand is good, this is good, location is good, I will not sell for fifty. I will sell for fifty-two lakhs or fifty-five lakhs. Or in a vice versa situation where the market conditions are bad and the location of my house is not good, I will sell for forty-eight lakhs, forty-seven lakhs. But what is my benchmark? Fifty lakhs. So what is the market price? The market price is the LTP. I repeat, the market price. is the l t p market price is the l t p last traded price simple that is why aapne dekha hoga your parents will always be very excited ki in your neighborhood what is the rent going on in your neighborhood what has the last house been sold at at what price because that defines the market price right सब क्लियर है तो ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी क्लियर है आपने देखा व्हाट इज द मार्केट प्राइस नो वन कैन डिसाइड द मार्केट प्राइस इट इज द एल टी टी द लास्ट ट्रेडेड प्राइस इज द मार्केट प्राइस सिंपल नाउ कमिंग टू पॉइंट नंबर थ्री बायर एंड सेलर नाउ इन अ फ्री इकोनॉमी देर आर बायर्स एंड देर देर सेलर्स इन सही पूरी इकोनॉमी बनती है Now, who is the best buyer? If I want to buy this pen from you, right? I am quoting that I will buy it at twenty rupees. Someone else is saying he will buy it at fifteen rupees. Who will you sell this pen to? Me. Who is the best buyer? Who is willing to sell it to you at the maximum price? Who is willing to offer you the maximum price? Right? Best buyer. Now, who is the best seller? Now, if you want this pen again, and I am selling you this pen for ten rupees, someone else is selling you this pen for eight rupees. Kis se khayi doge? Eight rupees se. So, best buyer again. Listen carefully. Best buyer is someone who is willing to buy at the maximum price, and best seller is someone who is willing to sell at the least amount of price. स्टॉक मार्केट्स में एग्जैक्ट सेम चीज होती है नाउ यू सी इन स्टॉक मार्केट दे आर टू बॉक्सेस फर्स्ट देर इज अ बायर बायर बॉक्स एंड सेकेंड इज सेल बॉक्स नाउ पीपल बिड हियर देर इज प्राइस क्वांटिटी प्राइस एंड क्वांटिटी नाउ यू सी हु इज द बेस्ट बायर हुज विलिंग टू बाय एट द मैक्सिमम प्राइस 
नाउ मैं इसी शेयर का एग्जाम्पल ले रहा हूँ नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम ट्वेल्व रुपीज ही वॉन्ट्स टू बाई एक्स वाई जेड क्वान्टिटी ही इज द बेस्ट बायर देन अ बायर बिलो हेम इज सिंग नो आई विल बाई द शेयर एट इलेवन रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा देन समन इज सिंग आई विल बाई टेन रुपीज ट्वेंटी पैसा राइट आई होप द फिगर्स आर नॉट टू स्मॉल सो जैसे ट्वेल्व रुपीज का बायर सबसे ऊपर वाई बिकॉज ही इज अ बायर हुज बिलिंग टू बायर द मैक्सिम अमाउंट ऑफ प्राइस देन इलेवन रुपीज फिफ्टी पैसा देन टेन रुपीज ट्वेंटी पैसा नाउ अगेन डिस्कलेमर ये मैंने बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस दे रखा है टेक्निकली अगर आप देखोगे तो डिफरेंस बहुत कम होता है सिर्फ टेन टेन पैसा का होता है जस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन यू आई हैव टेकन अ मेजर डिफरेंस राइट अब आते हैं सेलर में हु इज द बेस्ट सेलर द बेस्ट सेलर इज सम Who is willing to sell you at the least amount of price? So this person is saying, "I am willing to sell my stock at fifteen rupees, X, Y, Z quantity." He is saying sixteen rupees. This person is saying, "No, I will sell it at twenty rupees." He is saying, "I will sell it at twenty-five uh, rupees, ten paisa." Clear? Bit there. And again, I have difference. Very much. I have written it just to explain it to you. Fair? Now let's take this situation. Is for this. ना मैं ये आता हूं और मुझे लगता है नहीं यार देखो रवि मेहता की कंपनी में ना दम है बॉस ये शेयर मैं खरीदना चाहता हूं तो मैं क्या करूंगा मैं यहां पे पंद्रह रुपए की बेट डाल दूंगा डील विल ट्रिगर बिकॉज फिफ्टीन पे बाय फिफ्टीन पे सेलर है द शेयर प्राइस विल मूव टू फिफ्टीन वाई बिकॉज फिफ्टीन इज नाउ द एल टी पी What is the market price? It is the last traded price. Simple. L T P. Simple. L T P. Why am I? Why am I putting so much energy on this point? Because to understand it is very important. Very important. You are seeing how the market prices move. Simple. Just like this, it is L T P. Now let me give you examples. You remember when Barack Obama came to our country on the Republic Day, right? So I remember this was in year two thousand fifteen. Barack Obama came to our country on Republic Day as a chief guest. Now he, for us, is a very big deal. Why? Because at that time, Barack Obama was the president of USA. He was the most powerful and influential man in the world. Now, how did you feel? Awesome, right? You like, wow! Barack Obama, our country, is here. This person is coming to our country. Now. हमारी साइकोलॉजी सबको सेम फील हो रहा है ऑल ऑफ अस विल फील द फैक्ट कि हाँ नाउ कंपनीज लाइक टी सी एस एंड विप्रो हु एक्सपोर्ट दे सर्विस टू अमेरिका उनका तो बिजनेस बहुत बहुत बढ़िया होने वाला है हम सब ने बायस यहाँ पे हम सब खरीदने को आ गए आई सेड हंड्रेड रुपीज समन एल सेड नो आई बैटर हंड्रेड एंड टेन समन एल सेज आई बैटर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी मैंने हंड्रेड रुपीज की बेट डाली किसी और ने एक सौ दस की डाली किसी और ने एक सौ बीस की डाली हु इज द बेस्ट बायर वन ट्वेंटी Where, where who will the seller sell it to? One twenty. Where will the share price move to? One twenty. What will be the LTP? One twenty. Simple. आप देख रहे हो how do the prices move? The prices move on sentiment. Sentiment. ये सब चीजें जो होंगी कि अच्छा economic growth हटाओ. Prices move on sentiment. I'll give you another example. Now, twenty six eleven का टापको टाइप क्या था? That happened in Mumbai, which was horrible. Now, just remember the fact that that attack was happening. How are you feeling? I'm sure you must be watching a television or in front of a news with your family or friends. How are you feeling? Scared? I was scared. हमें क्या लगा इस देश का कुछ नहीं हो सकता यार अगर बॉम्बे में अटैक हो रहा है तो दिल्ली दूर है क्या? Right? What did you think at that point? ये देश नहीं बचाएगा कंपनी का क्या? People started to sell, right? I I am selling by I am willing to sell at hundred rupees. Someone else is willing to sell at ninety rupees. Someone else is willing to sell at eighty rupees. Who will the buyer buy it from? Eighty. Where did the stock? Where did the LTP go? Eighty. Stock market कितना नीचे आ गया? Eighty. It's the sentiment that drives the market. So next time you listen to your news, no. डोंट लिसन की उसका डायरेक्ट इंप्लीकेशन क्या है बिकॉज शॉर्ट टर्म में डायरेक्ट इंप्लीकेशन कुछ है ही नहीं इट इज द सेंटिमेंट दैट इफेक्ट द जजमेंट हर बार हर बार सो वो ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड उस न्यूज से सेंटिमेंट कैसा होगा गाइज बिकॉज इन द शॉर्टर्स पीरियड ऑफ टाइम 
it's the sentiment that drives the prices of stock markets but in the only in the longer period of time it will the it will be the company fundamentals or companies uh, profits or companies profile wo longer time mein aayega but in the shorter period of while it will only be the company sentiments sentiments is what drives the prices and human psychology and market price and buyer and sellers both all three of them mix up human psychology sabki same hai theek hai sentiments sabka ek sath upar niche hota hai and buy sell to aap samajh gaye yahan pe and market price kya hoti hai it's nothing but the ltp to aap dekh rahe ho how do the markets move it's so simple now let's take an interesting case study here let's talk about harshad mehta now i'm sure some of you might have heard about harshad mehta kisi logo ka ha isne kuch scam kiya hai isne kuch kiya hai now harshad mehta ne he did a scam of worth 4000 crores guys 4000 crores you know in what year in 1992 mere baba mujhe bolte the beta 1990 mein south delhi i live in delhi so in south delhi which is a very supposed to be a very posh area in 40000 rupees you could buy the entire plot he did a scam of 4000 crores in 1992 matlab aap samajh rahe ho at what scale did he do this what was the value of that money at that point of time aap samajh rahe ho right now this is just to give you perspective now what happened he had a lot of money and he had collected that money from a lot of questionable sources a lot of questionable sources log bolte hain usme politician ka paisa tha kuch log bolte hain bank loans liye but repay nahi kiye fir broking se paisa bahut questionable source se paisa tha while i am not getting into that specifically now aap dekhoge let's take the harsh mehta now he had the money राइट नाउ जस्ट इमेजिन यहां पे सेलर्स खड़े हैं ठीक एट फिफ्टीन रुपीज एट द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ फिफ्टीन रुपीज देर आर वन लैक सेलर्स हाउ मच मनी डू यू नीड टू बाय द एंटायर फिफ्टीन रुपीज फिफ्टीन लैक्स खरीद दिया एट सिक्सटीन रुपीज दे आर टू लैक सेलर्स हाउ मच मनी नीड टू बाय द एंटायर थिंग सिक्सटीन इंटू टू लैक्स थर्टी टू लैक्स खरीद लिया ट्वेंटी रुपीज खरीद लिया ट्वेंटी फाइव खरीदा खरीदते 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 again was he doing anything illegal no he was just increasing the ltp illegal kuch nahi tha isme right ab just imagine 10 rupees ka share only within few months when i say months i mean say the main iska tha jo main iska run tha that was about from 10 to 12 months from 10 rupees the stock went up to 1000 rupees from 10 rupees it went up to 1000 rupees 100 times and again ye ek aapko example de raha hu but all the stocks almost were double at that he had a particular range of stocks which doubled why because he just kept on buying shares buying shares buying shares buying shares buying shares now jab stock upar ja raha tha to kya company ne sahi mein kuch acha kiya tha nahi he just kept on buying shares wahan pe you saw wahan pe itna euphoria aa gaya in 1992 and if you are if you are not born that year ask your parents ask anyone they have to know who harshad mehta was Euphoria the people just imagine people sold their jewelry people sold their jewelry people gave sold their houses investments and put it into stock markets ab samajh lo can you imagine selling your jewelry and putting it into stock markets nahi us samay people did that and again i'm not trying to uh, say that people at those times were stupid bilkul bhi nahi agar hum unki jagah hote hum bhi same cheez hi karte right and everyone put their money in stock markets and at this point where the markets peaked out no wahan pe harsha mehta ka ek cover aaya tha time magazine pe he stand like this and piche black lexus khadi hai he was the first person to own a lexus in our country and that say that demarked the fall of harsha mehta aur wahan se again he came to the limelight then all the authorities were after him then it was disclosed ki ye pura scam hai markets sahi mein ko acha nahi kar rahe he was just increasing the price and then the markets crashed horribly horribly a scam of 4000 crores in 1992 right so now i take a lot of case study with my students also now is case study mein sabse pehli cheez i want you to study is the concept of ltp how do the prices move theek hai second thing people have to know markets are risky right and i'm not going to deny it markets are risky to quote warren buffett the biggest risk is investing without proper knowledge so yes if you don't have proper knowledge aap invest in situations mein karoge and if you have been investing from beforehand 
और इफ यू हैव सम अराउंड यू हुज हैज अ लॉस इन स्टॉक मार्केट उनसे पूछना किस बेसिस पे इन्वेस्ट किया था एंड आई कैन गारंटी यू इन सिचुएशन होगी एंड उनकी गलती नहीं है बिकॉज फॉर अ अनट्रेन माइंड इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ऑब्जर्व दिस सिचुएशन राइट सो टू थिंग्स आई वॉन्ट यू टेक फ्रॉम दिस केस स्टडी इज फर्स्ट हाउ डज एल टी पी मूव सेकेंड यू हैव टू गेट ट्रेन इन दिस लाइन माई फ्रेंड एंड लाइक एनी लाइन किसी भी लाइन में कुछ करना यू हैव टू बी ट्रेन इन दैट लाइन Now after the Harshad Mehta, the Harshad Mehta scam happened in 1992. Immediately after which SEBI was formed. In 1992, SEBI was formed. What is SEBI? Securities Exchange Board of India. SEBI का काम क्या है? It is the watchdog for stock markets. It may show that us retail investors दोबारा Harshad Mehta से scam ना हो जाए. Now I'm sure आप सबको पता होगा SEBI का full form क्या है और SEBI क्या करती है. But my question to you is, क्यों? सेबी ये सब क्यों करती है डेट द गवर्नमेंट फोर्स टू इन्वेस्ट योर मनी नहीं पीपल हैड इन्वेस्टेड दे मनी एंड वी इन्वेस्ट अर मनी यूजिंग आर ओन ब्रेन आर ओन गट एंड आर ओन सेंटिमेंट देन वाई इज द गवर्नमेंट लाइबल फॉर एनी लॉस ये तो वही बात हो गई दैट इफ आई स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस इन डेली देन इफ आई डोंट मेक इट देन द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ डेली विल कम एंड गिव मी हर्ष आपको नुकसान हो गया टेक द मनी ऑफकोर्स नॉट सो वाई इज दिस द केस इन स्टॉक मार्केट सोचो Some people tell me harsh taxation. No, if one harsh meta wins or we win, ultimately the money is in the economy to tax it. Jai ra. You know, pure session me, jo ham ab continue kar rahe hain, jo abhi hua hai aur aage continue karenge. We take things either on logical ground or on a mathematical ground. Okay, so we are going to break everything very, very logically. Ab do chiz log. Let's take a U.S. citizen and let's take a Indian citizen. who has a better lifestyle a us citizen of course because they have much better facilities than us wahan pe ambulance aati hai right wahan pe retirement fund hai if you are medically not doing well government will take care of you is that the case in india nahi ab usko logically dekhte hain why is the us government providing more services than the indian government because the us government has more money than the indian government ek sarkar ko paisa kahan se milta hai Where does the government earn their money from? Taxes. Iska matlab ye hai that an average U.S. citizen is earning more than an average Indian, and that is why they are paying more taxes. You will always see in a developing country, people earn less compared to a developed country. Same in the comparison of U.S. and India. Esa kyu hai? Now tell me that reason. Esa kyu hai that people in developed economies are earning much more. compared to developing or even more so to under developed economies you know iska reason kya hai companies a great country becomes great by its companies usa mein kya hai apple google pepsi coca cola mcdonalds kfc matlab jo bhi aap pehen rahe ho from your fashion for your food from your technology everything is american All are U.S. brands. आप खुद देखो अभी आपने खुद U.S. brands पहनी हुई होंगी, right? Now जितनी ज़्यादा companies होंगी, नौकरियाँ कितनी होंगी? उतनी ज़्यादा. लोग कमाएँ कितना? उतना ज़्यादा. Economy अच्छी है. Japan, a small country. Why is it so powerful? Because Japan has companies like Sony, Isuzu, Honda, Toyota, Panasonic, Toshiba. Japan is a big country. It's a powerful country. साउथ कोरिया जोग्राफिकली इवन स्मॉलर वॉट डज साउथ कोरिया हैव हुडाई किया सैमसंग इट्स अ बिग कंट्री बांग्लादेश में क्या है अच्छा श्रीलंका में क्या है अच्छा पाकिस्तान में अफगानिस्तान में कुछ है दीज आर इमर्जिंग कंट्रीज एंड वेन विल दे इमर्ज आउट जब वहां पर अच्छी कंपनीज खड़ी होंगी दैट इज वाई दे आर नॉट इन द न्यू सो मच As a matter of fact, Bangladesh is doing fantastically well as an economy. Again, coming back to the point. Now, why is India at the central of all the finance world in uh, all the financial markets in the world? Why? Because we have a handful of strong companies. We have Reliance, the Tata Group, the Mahindra Group, the Aditya Birla Group, Infosys, Wipro. Handful companies to hain. Now, tell me this: all company owners at one point of time they want to expand their business. राइट मार्क जकबर्ग अजीम प्रेम जी और धीरू भाई मानी ऑल ऑफ दैम वॉन्टेड टू एक्सपैंड द बिजनेस वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम 
उनके पास ऑप्शन क्या थे फैमिली पैसे मिले नहीं बैंक पैसे मिले नहीं ऑप्शन क्या था स्टॉक मार्केट अगर आपका भरोसा स्टॉक मार्केट से उठ गया एंड इफ यू स्टॉप इन्वेस्टिंग इन मार्केट सो विल एनी अदर अजीम प्रेम जी गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्टार्ट कंपनी लाइक विप्रो एंड गिव जॉब टू लैक्स ऑफ पीपल इन आर इकोनॉमी क्या हमारे देश में कोई और धीरू भाई अंबानी बन पाएगा दैट इज वाई स्टॉक मार्केट इज सो क्रूशल यू नो इफ माई बॉडी इज एन इकोनॉमी द ब्लड रनिंग इन माई वेन्स इज स्टॉक मार्केट पीपल थिंक स्टॉक मार्केट का फायदा क्या है दोस्त स्टॉक मार्केट का फायदा ये है If we don't have stock markets in our country, then we don't have any companies in our country because किसी और entrepreneur किसी और धीरू भाई मानी किसी और अजीम प्रेम जी को अपनी company start करने का मौका नहीं मिल पाएगा Who can give jobs to फाइव to टेन lakh people in our country? This is how crucial it is, and that is why SEBI was formed. Now under SEBI, you have a stock broker. Now examples of stock broker is जी Securities, ICICI Securities. Securities. then there is angel broking there is elite well there is anand rati there is ifl there is motilal oswal bhare hue hain right i am sure aapko pata honge right now what is a stock broker now see sebi has certain norms now can sebi tell these norms to all of us nahi to sebi kya karta hai wo in stock brokers ko sahi norms batayega and we have we can only trade via a stock broker people ask me harsh can i trade directly you cannot you have to have a d mat account you open it with a stock broker so i'll just write it down here for you it's a d mat account and a trading account jo ab ek sath hi khulta hai d mat account and a trading account right you have to open it with a stock broker uske through aap trade kar sakte ho to stock broker kya hota hai he is a intermediary बस broker hai wo theek hai if i am a broker aap mujhe bolo harsh mujhe 10 lines ki share chahiye main bolunga theek hai sir ये रे दस लाइन की शेयर और मुझे क्या चाहिए मेरा कमीशन दैट्स इट राइट सो व्हाट ब्रोकर यू शुड चूज मैंने इसमें यूट्यूब वीडियो बनाई है यू कैन चेक इट आउट बट ये इतना मैटर नहीं करता एंड इफ यूर बिगिनिंग टू ब्रोकर पे टाइम वेस्ट मत करो टू सिलेक्टिंग व्हाट अ गुड ब्रोकर इज यूर ओनली फायदा सी वॉट स्टॉक ब्रोकर इज द इंटीमीडरी नाउ इफ यू सीन द अर्लियर टाइम नो देर वर लॉट ऑफ मैन्यूपुलेशन हैपनिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अ स्टॉक ब्रोकर वाई बिकॉज रूल्स वो नॉट क्लियर people were completely unaware and i don't blame them because it's a business right so first you get the service you deserve so when you have a dmat and trading account make sure you check it make sure it is under your control make sure you know the charges that have been applied to you and second he is a intermediary brokers are not supposed to advise you brokers are not supposed to give you study on the basis of which you invest yes you can a lot of brokers are doing it but it's a guiding factor check everything on your own only then invest don't just blindly agree with what the broker is telling you why because his main interest is commission generation your main interest is profit generation they are two separate things right so stock broker then comes nse and bse now like i'm sure most of you must know nse national stock exchange bse is the bombay stock exchange now what is the exchange सिंपली आपने कहा रिलायंस फ्रेश और बिग बाजार नाउ इफ आई गेट अ कोक बॉटल कोकोला बॉटल फ्रॉम रिलायंस फ्रेश और बिग बाजार डज इट मैटर नहीं वो बॉटल कोका कोला की ही है सो इफ आई बाय अ रिलायंस शेयर फ्रॉम बी एस सी और एन एस सी डज इट मैटर नहीं वो शेयर मुकेश अंबानी का ही है अजीम प्रेम जी का ही है ये दो ग्रोसरी शॉप्स हैं किसी में भी जाओ ट्रॉली उठाओ और शेयर खरीद के ले आओ is nsc better bsc better yes a lot of people say nsc is better because nsc is slightly more technologically advanced but bsc is asia's oldest exchange mind you right so for me both are same right uh, we train on behalf of nsc also we train on behalf of bsc also in exchanges ko responsibility milti to spread financial literacy so they hire us and we go on their behalf to spread it so for me both are same when i say nsc when i say bsc mere liye baat same hai and for you to understand अंडरस्टैंड एक्सचेंज क्या है एक्सचेंज इज अ ग्रोसरी शॉप कहीं भी चले जाओ वो प्रोडक्ट वो शेयर मुकेश अंबानी का ही है अजीम प्रेम जी का ही है डन नाउ देन कम्स दिस इज द एक्सचेंज देन कम्स द इंडेक्स वॉट आर द टू इंडेक्स इज वी हैव इन अ कंट्री वी हैव निफ्टी फिफ्टी 
and sensex 30. The two indexes we have in our uh, country is Nifty 50 and Sensex 30. So NSE ki hoti hai Nifty, BSE ki hoti hai Sensex. Simple. Now if you see Dow Jones, Nasdaq, S&P 500, they are American indexes. DAX, it's a German index. Then uh, Hang, uh, then Nikkei, it's a Japanese index. Hang Seng, Hong Kong ki index hai. So these are the indexes that matter. Hamari kya hai? Nifty or Sensex. So now all the stockbrokers are exchanged up clear. Why am I going in so detail to explain you? Because I want you to understand. Don't memorize what are the statements. Once you understand, you will understand yourself. So that after which when you read news and when you read things, you will understand Right? So I am going to start a fresh page here. Right? So let's understand index. Let's take Nifty. Let me take another pen. Nifty 50 and Sensex 30. Now, index kya hota hai? Now, in both NSE and BSE, there are 2800 active companies listed. When I say active, I mean din ke 10 lakh share khide ja rahe hai, din ke 10 lakh share beche ja rahe hai. Now, if you want to see where the stock market is headed to, to kya mein sari 2800 companies ka closing price ka average nikalo? Is it possible? Nahin. So what the exchange says, ठीक है boss, तुम्हारा काम easy कर देते हैं. So this is top 30 companies. Sensex is the, technically it's the weighted average, but I don't want you to go into the calculation of it. Is the weighted average of top 30 shares, top 30 companies, top 30 shares, whatever you may call it. And Nifty is of 50. So अब देखोगे, ये 30 तो same है. Only difference is Nifty has 20 more. 50. 30. Because the majority being exactly the same, you will see Nifty and Sensex always move proportionately. 99% case may put in proportionately upper exit upper jang exit. Why? Because the majority is same. Now, when I say the top 50 companies, the top 30 companies, the top companies come up here. Jinki highest market price. Hai? Nahi. The companies which have the highest market capital. अभी जो मैंने आपको समझाया था इस एग्जांपल में रवि मेहता का मार्केट कैपिटल क्या है वन लाख मार्केट कैपिटल इस प्राइस इनटू क्वांटिटी रिमेंबर द रूल आई जस्ट टॉट यू नेवर जज अ शेयर ऑन इट्स शेयर प्राइस इट्स ऑलवेज द मार्केट कैपिटल सो टॉप थर्टी मार्केट कैपिटल कंपनीज इधर हैं टॉप फिफ्टी Right? So I remember my father is my mentor. So he has been in stock market for the past 40 years. Ab, so he used to keep telling about stock markets in So I, I think what standard we are? I was in 8th or 9th standard. So he was telling me about index. I said, Papa, index kya hai? what is the index? Main nahi aara kuch. So he explained me in such a way that I would like to do the same thing with you. Stock markets, na, it's so ocean. And it's the biggest ocean you will find. Just imagine, close your eyes, imagine it's the biggest ocean. And is ki, is ocean ki sabse badi ships kaun si hai? So the ships, sizes of Titanic, Titanic sized ships, the biggest ships you'll find are Lions, TCS, Tata Motors, HGFC Bank, ITC. Or dusri companies ke hai? Wo choti ship hai. Or koi aur choti ship hai. Ek motor boat hai. Or ek to pedal boat hai. So can you imagine, it's the biggest ocean and according to the market capital of the company, it's a ship from large to small. Can you imagine, put a list of it, it's a big ship, it's a big Now there's a very famous saying, Jahaz jahaan ko chalte hai, lehre wahi ki hoti hai. Wherever the ships move, the waves follow. Wherever these ships move, the waves of stock markets are headed in that way. Ab jo choti moti boats hai, ya to wave ke saath aage jati hai, ya wave se clash karke, so where are the waves of stock market headed to? It's shown by the index. So why is the index so crucial? When the index is up, does it mean every share is up? No. It means that the weighted average of these top 30 or top 50 shares is up. And when I say Nifty, I say Sensex again. For me, it's the same. Why? Because majority content is same. Hai. Mele exchange, NSEBSE, I say manta ho, index, same. Don't get confused between these two. Right? Is this clear? I hope everything is clear. And congratulations.
यही दुनिया है स्टॉक मार्केट्स की दिस इज द स्मॉल वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट्स पीपल कॉल इट दलाल स्ट्रीट सम पीपल कॉल इट वॉल स्ट्रीट और यहीं पे लोग आते हैं लाइक यू इन द बिगिनिंग आई एम ज्यूमिंग यूर बिगिनर टू मेक द करियर टू मेक अ नेम टू मेक अ फेम एंड टू मेक फॉर्चून नाउ द वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट्स यूल सी दे आर सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स एंड ट्रेडर्स आई एम गिविंग यू द ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट देल बी अ ट्रेडर हु विल बी अ डेली ट्रेडर और अ इंटरडे ट्रेडर हाँ ही बी डीलिंग इन इक्विटीज और डेरेवेटिव देन देल बी स्विंग ट्रेडर्स हु ट्रेड फॉर टेन टू ट्वेल्व वीक्स देन देल बी पोजिशनल ट्रेडर्स पोजिशनल ट्रेडर्स ट्रेड फॉर टेन टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स सम पीपल ऑल्सो कॉल दम सिक्लिकल इन्वेस्टर्स देन देर आर वैल्यू इन्वेस्टर्स वैल्यू इन्वेस्टर्स ओनली इन्वेस्ट इन दोज वैल्यू स्टॉक्स राइट दे आर लुकिंग फॉर दोज मल्टी बैगर्स अब अगेन दीज आर वेरी ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज एंड इनके बीच में लाइन्स ना बहुत जल्दी ब्लर हो जाती हैं नाउ पीपल कम टू मी एन दे आस मी हर्ष वॉट टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज द बेस्ट वॉट टाइप ऑफ ट्रेडिंग इज द बेस्ट and to all my students i always recommend them one thing that first no fixed answer no fixed size fits all ye stock market se dost hum sab ka temperament itna different hai that all our needs are very different ab aap khud socho lot of people come to me and they tell me harsh mujhe to sirf intraday trading karni hai intraday trading ke liye mujhe kuch karna hi nahi hai sir aap trading course dete ho ki nahi dete ho main nahi deta hu why because it is very important for you to explore all these types of trades and investments and to see what suits your style right so don't be just stuck ki mujhe intraday trading karni hai because okay let me tell talk about intraday traders now a lot of people are really tempted towards daily trading intraday trading for the world of day trading isme kuch kharabi nahi hai but the thing is what people don't understand that the real trading is not sitting on the on the market hours on the computer the real trading is after the market hours and if you know a serious trader ab wo aapko batayega trading bahut difficult hoti hai yaar the skill set and the nerves you need for trading is something else you need nerves of steel for trading sabki bas ki baat nahi hai which is completely fine some people prefer value investing some people prefer positional trading swing trading so you need to find your comfort zone so for which mai kya karta hu i make sure that after the course my students for at least 3 to 4 months again time depend karta hai wo bahut jaldi kal kuch kar lete hai kuch ko bahut time lag jata hai which is completely fine explore all fields and then decide what type of investor investor or trader you are right same thing people ask me harsh i want to make a career in stock markets ab bhai career kaise banaye ab again when someone comes to me and i'm being very honest to you and he tells me harsh i want to make a career in stock markets main kya karu saying that you want to make a career in stock markets is like saying you want to make a career in the field of education now in the field of education you can be a teacher you can be a author who write books you can be a book publisher you can manufacture a stationery you can open a school you can open a college all these things career options are available in the field of education itself सेम थिंग इन स्टॉक मार्केट्स स्टॉक मार्केट्स में करना क्या है यू वॉन्ट टू बी एन एडवाइजर यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ ब्रोकर यू वॉन्ट टू टेक आउट टेक्निकल कॉल्स यू वॉन्ट टू बी अज फंड मैनेजर यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजर यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ फंड मैनेजर यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ इन्वेस्टर जस्ट सो मेनी थिंग्स राइट नाउ आई गेट इट यू मस्ट बी कंफ्यूज आप सोचो यार हर सब इसका आंसर थोड़ी पता है वन तो हमारे पास क्या होते हैं एंड यू राइट यू नो when i made the decision not to go to college i was sitting right there at your shoes and that confusion ye achhi cheez hai ye achhi cheez hai so its solution ye hai you need to explore everything i make sure that my student explore each and every aspect of stock markets and types of traders and investors so that they can choose what they want simple गिव यू सेल्फ टाइम जल्दी कुछ भी नहीं है मैं यहां पर खड़ा हूं आदित्य यहां पर खड़ा है वी आर देर टू सपोर्ट यू ऑलवेज कुछ भी समझ नहीं आया फ्री गाइडेंस एट द रेट गोल एस एफ डॉट इन में जाओ कनेक्ट विद अस सेंड अस मेल आर टीम विल गेट बैक टू यू सो यू डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग एंड टेक योर टाइम नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स डन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ स्टडीज इन स्टॉक मार्केट्स नाउ द इंटायर स्टडी इज डन टू प्रोडिक्ट द फ्यूचर इन स्टॉक मार्केट्स की भाई शेयर ऊपर जाएगा नीचे जाएगा अब दो मेजर टाइप की स्टडीज होती हैं विच इज द बिगेस्ट डिबेट ऑफ द मॉल फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस वर्सेस टेक्निकल एनालिसिस राइट नाउ फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस इज 
the study to find the intrinsic value of that stock based on its past performances and future prospect. Uh, fundamentally, actually, what are the tools? You need balance sheets, you need uh, cash flows, you need profit and loss, you need ratios. On the other hand, technical analysis. Now, technical analysis is the study of price and volumes on a price chart. Jo aap dekhai. It's the study of statistics. Technical analysis kya hota hai? Moving averages, Bollinger Bands, RSI, MACD, then there are candlesticks, then there are patterns. Ab, a lot of people say, Harsh, I just fundamentally karna hai. Fundamental is the best. A lot of people tell me, Harsh, I only want to trade in technicals. I only want to be in technicals. That's it. Ab, I'll be honest, honest with you. This is not the right way to think. Why? Because I get it. You must be motivated from some source, which is completely fine. But dono ke advantage or disadvantage bhi hai. Fundamental analysis has its advantages and has major disadvantages. Same but technical analysis. It has its advantages and has its major disadvantages. Foolproof to kuch bhi nahi hai. A great investor, and repeat again, a great investor is someone who knows all types of investments and trades. And a great investor is someone who knows both technical analysis and fundamental analysis. Can you survive in stock markets only by knowing one? You cannot. In today's markets, you cannot. So you need to have an open mind. A lot of people are close. Ki mujhe yehi chahiye, yehi chahiye. Zada lamba nahi ja stock markets hai kya? You know, stock markets and economics is a game of opinions. It's a half glass full or a half glass empty. So it's very important for you to take everyone's opinions. Right? So have an open mind for both technicals and fundamentals. Try to explore everything so that you know what is the right thing for you. Now guys, you watching this session, I am assuming that you are in stock markets or you are in your very nascent days of investing. Now as I promised in the beginning of this session, I am going to give you a strategy. So today I am going to discuss the easiest and clearly one of the most effective strategies there is to invest. Now before that, Let's take a case study. Now, there are several great investors and traders. There's Charlie Munger, there's Peter Lynch, there's Manish Pabrai, there's Vijay Kedia, there's Martin Pring. Bohot hai. But because Warren Buffett is the most commercially successful, I'm sure you Warren Buffett. So let's take the case study of Warren Buffett. Right? So Warren Buffett is the third richest man in the world. And all his income and his fortune is through investments and stock markets. Now, aap dekhoge, one of the biggest investments for Warren Buffett, what was that? What was one of the biggest, biggest shares of Warren Buffett? That share's name is Coca-Cola. Yes, Coke. Warren Buffett invested in Coca-Cola when it was relatively nothing compared to what it's today. Now let's again, let's logically analyze everything. Now what is Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola is flavored sugar aerated water. Now Delhi may be, there's a local drink that is also a flavored sugar aerated water. And that sells by the name of Banta. Uh, just imagine if I take you to a place where people are manufacturing Banta and if I tell you, sir, let's invest together. What will you tell me? Are you crazy? Ye balance sheet ki dekhao, inka cash flow dekhao, inka to ye bhi nahi hoga. They don't have marketing strategies, they don't have product cycles, they don't have anything. To quote Warren Buffett, when people asked him, why did you invest in Coca-Cola? He said, I saw that people enjoy the taste of Coke. And I saw no reason why people on, in every corner of the world would not appreciate the same thing. I saw no reason where people in every corner of the world would not appreciate the same thing, the taste of Coca-Cola. And today we know where is Coca-Cola today, right? So the thing we need to learn from this case study is that people think that you have to be very smart for stock markets. Stock markets matlab balance sheets, ledgers, LIFOs, FIFOs, debt equity ratios. No. If it was truth, hota, then every, again, I don't mean to diss anyone, but every BCom graduate would have been a millionaire. Sab hi but what is the case? Hai? Nahin. True investment, I always tell to my students, true investment is observation. Some of the biggest investments are made of some of the most juvenile reasons. I'll tell you an example. 
नाउ फॉर द पास्ट डेकेड पिछले दस सालों से आर अर्लियर जनरेशन हैज नोन फॉर द फैक्ट दैट इंटरनेट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इज द फ्यूचर बट डिड दे इन्वेस्ट इन इट नहीं स्टैंडिंग हेयर टूडे यू नो दैट इलेक्ट्रिकल ऑटोमोबाइल सोलर एनर्जी रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी इज द फ्यूचर बट आर यू इन्वेस्टिंग इन इट नहीं थिंक अबाउट इट हम सबके घर पर बात होती है कि आई विश माई ग्रैंड फादर हैड बॉट दैट प्लॉट और डिड नॉट सेल दैट थिंग और डिड दैट और दादाजी ने ये किया होता वो किया होता देखो आज हम किधर होते यार होती कि नहीं होती है ऑल आई वॉन्ट से इज दैट जस्ट मेक श्योर योर ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रन डू नॉट से दैट अबाउट यू जो जिस दिन वो हो गया ना दैट विल बी अ वेरी डार्क आवर इट विल बी अ वेरी डार्क आवर मेक शो योर ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रन डू नॉट से दैट अबाउट यू दैट इज माई मोटो ऑफ लाइफ थिंग्स आर वेरी ऑब्वियसली विजिबल टू यू टू इन्वेस्ट अगेन सॉरी गाइस मैं थोड़ा ऑफ टॉपिक चला गया बट दैट इज वॉट ट्रू इन्वेस्टमेंट इज राइट वेन पीपल कम टू मी आई ऑलवेज टेल दम डोंट कम टू मी इफ यू लव मनी लविंग मनी इज ओके कम टू मी वेन यू लव इन्वेस्टमेंट वेन यू लव ट्रेडिंग वेन यू लव द आर्ट ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट इट्स ब्यूटिफुल राइट टॉपिक पे आते हैं ओके नाउ वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉरन बफेट एज एन एग्जाम्पल नाउ वॉरन बफेट कंपनी बाय द नेम ऑफ बर्ग शाया हैथवे नाउ आई एम श्योर बहुत लोगों को पता होगा दैट वॉरन बफेट कंपनी इज बाय द नेम ऑफ बर्ग शाया हैथवे नाउ इफ इज एन लाइक बर्ग शाया हैथवे From 1965 to 2016. Why am I taking this frame? Because मेरे पास data 1965 to 2016 का ही है Now you'll see from 1965 to 2016, their growth in profits. I repeat, their growth in profits has been. एट लाख परसेंट आठ लाख परसेंट इसका मतलब समझ रहे हो आप एक रुपए का आठ लाख दस रुपए का अस्सी लाख हंड्रेड रुपीज एट करोड़ वन करोड़ रुपीज इफ यू इन्वेस्ट देन यूर दर्ड रिचेस्ट मैन इन द वर्ल्ड दैट इज वॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इट्स अपसर्ड इट्स कंप्लीटली इन सीन इट्स एब्सोल्यूटली दिस फिगर इज अपसर्ड अब इसका मतलब क्या है कि हम आठ लाख को एम करना चाहिए हमें Now it it looks like a huge figure. So tell me this: Did every year he must be making a profit? No. From 1964 to 2016, there must be many years where he did where he did exceedingly well. But there must also be years where he did not do well. Am I right? So for this, I will see the C A G R. That is the compounded annual growth rate. Simple terms, I will explain to you. हर साल ऑन एवरेज कितना ग्रो किया है हर साल ऑन एवरेज कितना ग्रो किया है दैट इज ओनली आई वॉन्ट राइट इट आई वॉन्ट टू शो इट टू यू हियर यू सी द शीट वेर आई हैव कलेक्टेड द डेटा फ्रॉम वेर वी कंपेयर द बर्कशा हैथवे परफॉर्मेंस टू एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड नाउ इट्स नाइन फ्रॉम नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटी कंपाउंड एनुअल ग्रोथ रेट कितना है एट लैख एटी फोर थाउजेंड परसेंट लुक एट द C A G R. Again, ध्यान से देखो C A G R क्या है And say it. C A G R of Warren Buffett is nineteen percent. Just nineteen percent. मतलब अब nineteen percent का मतलब समझ रहे हो Are you understanding the significance of this nineteen percent? You know when students come to me, and I always ask them, "Ki acha, what do you expect from stock markets? Chahte kya ho? Tabhi toh maapko help kar paunga." You know, students come to me and they tell me, "Sir, zada nahi chahiye." Matlab, sirf din ka dust percent. Din ka dust percent. Students me padate hain with the expectation of mahine ka eighty to ninety percent. Let's take. दिन का दस परसेंट इफ यू इफ समन वॉन्ट टेन परसेंट इन वन डे इसका मतलब क्या हुआ लेट्स एज्यूम देर थ्री हंड्रेड ट्रेडिंग डेज इन अयर इसका मतलब एवरी ईयर दे आर मेकिंग अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड परसेंट कंपाउंडेड है ये 
अगर थ्री थाउजेंड प्रोफिट परसेंट का प्रॉफिट कमा रहे हो ना और अगर ये कोई आदमी कर ले फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स देन स्टेटिस्टिकली इज द रिचेस्ट मैन ऑन दिस प्लानिट अब इज दैट एक्सपेक्टेशन टू कीप येस दैट इज पॉसिबल पॉसिबल है वो बट कितना रिस्क लेना पड़ेगा उसके लिए फर्स्ट हैव अ वैलिड एक्सपेक्टेशन गाइस वॉरन बफेट उन्नीस परसेंट कमा रहा है यार हम यहां पे डबल करने पे लगे हैं सब आधा टाइम तो मुझे उन लोगों को वो समझाने लगता है कि भाई एक्सपेक्टेशन ठीक करो इफ यू एक्सपेक्टिंग टेन परसेंट अ डे तो मेरे पास तो मताओ दैट इज ऑलवेज से वी ऑलवेज हैंड पिक स्टूडेंट एंड चूज स्टूडेंट विद द राइट माइंड सेट जिनका एक्सपेक्टेशन लेवल ठीक हो एंड अगेन यू स्टूडेंट्स की गलती नहीं है ये मार्केट स्टॉक मार्केट को ऐसे एडवर्टाइज किया जाता है कि सीधा हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड परसेंट सबको डबल चाहिए सबको डबल अभी हम एसेट्स में इसके बाद में बात करेंगे बट इट इज नाइनटीन परसेंट थिंक अबाउट इट नाउ इज दिस अ नॉर्मल एक्सपेक्टेशन टू हैव अब खुद सोचो जस्ट थिंक अबाउट दिस इफ आई जस्ट ड्रॉ इट आउट ऑन अ ग्राफ वॉरन बाफेट प्रॉफिट माइट हैव गॉन लाइक दिस वॉट ही has made a profit of 19% let me use a better marker seedha yahan pe profit kitne ka aa raha hai ye profit kitne ka aa raha hai of 19% yes he must have hit his highs he must have hit his lows but this profit steady profit of 19% can make you the third richest man in the world this is what i'm talking about right there's a very simple saying that if you invest in long term the knowledge you need is zero and again this is another myth i want to break today now hota kya hai stock markets mein whenever you are motivated to come in stock markets you will be always attracted towards technical analysis you will be attracted towards getting quick money a lot of people enter stock markets with a vision ki i want quick money right that is not wrong quick money mil sakta hai बट स्टॉक मार्केट थम रूल क्या होता है दैट फॉर द लॉन्गर रन वॉट इज द नॉलेज यू नीड जीरो जीरो इफ आई आस्क यू सर टेल मी अ गुड शेयर फॉर नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर्स आप मुझे क्या बोलोगे दस साल के लिए रिलायंस ले लो एल एन टी ले लो एच डी एफ सी बैंक ले लो इवन यू नो इवन आई नो दीज कंपनीज हैव मोर वेरी हाई प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ डूइंग वेरी वेल राइट सो नो सिचुएशन आई माइट गो इन टू लॉस सो For investment for long term, जैसे मैं टेन ईयर्स बोला था वॉट इज द नॉलेज आई नीड जीरो नाउ इफ आई शॉर्ट इन द पीरियड ओके मैं बोलूंगा सर ओके टेल मी फॉर वन ईयर टेल मी फॉर वन मंथ एक हफ्ता बता दो एक दिन एक घंटा वॉट इज द नॉलेज यू नीड एक्सट्रीमली हाई एक्सट्रीमली हाई सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल आप मानोगे नहीं दे एंटर स्टॉक मार्केट विद द Thing they need the most knowledge with, which is day trading. You need to be an expert to reach the level of a day trader and an intraday trader. वो पहले शुरू कर देते हैं. तो ये भी बहुत ही problem है, right? तो आगे नहीं इसको हम solve करेंगे. Now, so long term is the easiest, and this is the strategy I want to share with you. For long term investment, you need the knowledge you need is zero. But again, जो मैं आपको बताता हूँ, हम हर चीज़ हम logically analyze करेंगे. आपके सामने मैं mathematically और logically proof करूँगा. If you just agree with me, okay, हर्ष ने बोला long term, तो I'll invest long term. नहीं. तो बुरा मत मानना दोस्त बट दैट विल बी इमेच्योरिटी फ्रॉम योर एंड यू नीड टू क्वेश्चन मी ऑन एवरीथिंग यू नीड टू आस्क एवरीथिंग टू मी ओनली देन यू विल लर्न ओनली देन जो मेंटर मेंटीशिप जो मेरे रिलेशन बोलो देन वो कंप्लीट होगा राइट सो आस्क मी एवरीथिंग वट एवर आई एम सींग बैक चैक बैक चेक एंड बैक ट्रैक एवरीथिंग फेर नाउ इन द सेम केस लेट्स टेक इंडेक्स नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ हैव आर इंडियन मार्केट परफॉर्म Right now, let's take Sensex. Now, why am I taking Sensex? Let's assume that this is Sensex. Now, Sensex started in. 1979 from how much 100 points here today it is at 41000 points or again mai isko kam le raha hu why because thoda conservative figure lete hain to usko kam lete hain from 1979 and right now is 
2020, the Sensex has gone from 100 percent to 40, 100 rupees to 41,000, right? So, if Warren Buffett ke CAGR is 19 percent, 19 percent, I want to find out how have our markets performed. Simple. How have our markets performed? You know, what is the CAGR of Sensex? CAGR of Warren Buffett is 19 percent. CAGR, the compounded annual growth rate of Sensex is 17 percent guys. 17% is matlab samaj rahe ho yaar 17% mil raha sensex mein without doing anything matlab just imagine everything that we could have imagined has happened people in this period from 1979 to 2020 they thought ki dunya khatam ho gayi hai har crash then there was the dot com burst there were several other bursts Ketan Parika crash, several other bursts that happened. I have a list here. Right? There was a the subprime crash, then there was an the Asian crisis, then there was a the source virus, pura phail gaya tha. there was a the Gulf War, there was a the World War, jo trade war. Hone wali thi. There's so many things that have happened. So many things that have happened. Tabhi bhi markets upar hai. You know, to quote Warren Buffett again, because we're taking his example, stock market is not a world for pessimists. There will always be 30,000 reasons for you not to invest in stock markets right now. But invest karke dekho, market is upar hi hai. You will always find people who will always have 30 reasons not to invest in market right now. But here, dekh lo. See, people can lie, charts don't. I'm telling you a fact. People lie, charts don't. The only reason for you not to invest right now in markets is if you do not believe in the growth story of our country. And trust me, I kid you not, we are at the center of the entire world economic condition. India is the next big thing, if it not became the already big thing. We are structured in such a way that India can have a Look at the demand here. Our demand is here. We have the youngest population here. We have the youngest working force here. All the companies are rushing down to our country. You can see Jo companies have said, I got this brand from abroad, that brand from abroad. They are all in India and they are in India. And they are showing us here. The only reason for you not to invest in stock markets if you don't believe in the growth story of stock markets. Sensex is giving you a return of 17%. If you think 19% is, was extraordinary, just imagine this is 19%, 17% is coming from here. So where do you reach? Where do you reach? Where do you reach? Now, again, if, you, if I tell this to an Indian person, right, ki why don't you invest in equity, right, why don't you invest in stock markets, wo kya bolega, kya baat kar rahe ho? And always, you'll always see, and again, iske bhi reasons hain, jo hum baad study karenge, is that Indians always prefer gold. They always prefer real estate. And they definitely love banks. But not equity. Now, if, again, jo mein CAGR nikal rahe पिछले 10 साल का CAGR आप खुद निकाल लो and you get the stats the CAGR of gold for the past 20 years I'm taking is 9% the CAGR in banks you all you know it's 6 to 7% the CAGR in real estate is only 12% stock market 17% है still you'll see that people prefer other sectors on what basis yes in a portfolio you should have all assets I agree with you but it's a very important thing. It's crucial. And we're not doing this. Now again, how can you invest in the Sensex? Now if you remember, Sensex is an index. Sensex is an index of top 30 shares. Are you buying all the 30 shares? No. You buy ETFs, Exchange Traded Funds. Now again, I'm going to make it very simple for you. Big companies, big financial houses, if suppose they bought the, all the th top 30 shares in that same proportion, right? Of 30,000 crores. You have bought it. Now, 30,000 crores, ko wo kya karenge? they will make it into price and quantity. Like we have seen IPO, ka dekha tha, Ravi Mehta. Ka. Right? Price and quantity, mein. then you buy and sell them like shares. They are called ETFs, Exchange Traded Funds. And you won't believe it, I was very fortunate to meet a hedge fund manager from USA. And I asked him, I asked him very clearly, Ki, Sir, how do you make sure of your returns? 
हाउ डू मैनेज योर रिस्क इन योर पोर्टफोलियो की स्टॉक मार्केट रिस्क है यू नो वट ही टोल्ड मी हर्स आई हैव अ वेरी सिंपल थम रूल फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट टू सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ माई पोर्टफोलियो और द पोर्ट अदर पर्सन पोर्टफोलियो इज हैंडलिंग गोज ऑटू इन टू इंडेक्स डेट इट सो डेट एवरेज मेंटेन रहे येस इन इंडिया आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज कैचिंग अप यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट इन द इंडेक्स और आगे जाके आई विल शो यू कैलकुलेशन क्यों कम आएगी नाउ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस्मी हर्स देन विल आई गेट सेवेंटीन परसेंट एवरी ईयर गारंटीड नहीं लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट इज नॉट अ फिक्स डिपॉजिट ऑफ ईयर राइट यू डोंट गेट सेवेंटीन परसेंट एवरी ईयर यू विल वेरे से लॉन्ग टर्म आई मीन यू नीड टू होल्ड इट एटलीस्ट फॉर फाइव टू सिक्स ईयर देन यू गेट दिस रिटर्न एंड वाई आर माई टेलिंग यू दिस राइट नाउ बिकॉज फॉर दिस राइट नाउ यू नीड जीरो नॉलेज जितना पीरियड शॉर्टर होगा आपको नॉलेज उतने की ही ज्यादा जरूरत होगी नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट सो दैट जो मैं बोल रहा हूं आई वॉन्ट टू वॉक द टॉक लेट्स कैलकुलेटेड एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू कैलकुलेट इसके बाद आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू द पार्ट टू कैलकुलेट सो दैट अगेन वी एनलाइज एवरीथिंग लॉजिकली एंड मैथमेटिकली सो नाउ इज द टाइम टू मैथमेटिकली एनलाइज दिस नाउ द मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला विच इज द वेल्थ फॉर्मूला येस ये बहुत जरूरी है एंड दिस इज वन थिंग I want you to take with you no matter what. It is the wealth formula. Now, wealth formula क्या है? This formula is the compounding formula. This formula is actually used by algorithms, by fund managers to advise you कि आपके लिए best investment क्या है. But अब ये मैं आपको खुद दूँगा so that you can calculate for yourself. और दूसरी चीज़ आपको एक बड़ी interesting चीज़ बताऊँ. पहले दिस वॉज ओनली पॉसिबल इन साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर बट नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज अवेलेबल ऑन अर एक्सेल शीट ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू द वेरिएबल्स ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला वी हैव फाइव वेरिएबल्स फर्स्ट वी हैव पी वी विच इज द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू देन वी हैव एफ वी विच इज द फ्यूचर वैल्यू आफ्टर विच we have n per now n per is number of periods which is the time period after which we have rate now rate of course is the return on investment and finally we have pmt that is payments PMT is SIP, which is also known as regular payments. So in sub variables को समझना जरूरी है और बहुत simple. It might seem intimidating, but trust me, it's the easiest. The best things in life are always easy. सबसे पहला PV present value. Second FV is the future value. N per is the time period. Rate is the return on investment which we will get. PMT is SIP. Now, what is SIP? SIP is Systematic Investment Plan. Simply, SIP is a fixed amount of investment after regular intervals of time, right? So, if I invest every year, it's a SIP. If I invest every day, it's a SIP. If I invest every month, it's also an SIP. So, बहुत लोग कहते हैं that SIP is only investment on a monthly basis, but ऐसा नहीं है. SIP is invested after regular intervals of time. Now, as you can. Now, as you can see the Excel sheet. I have put all of this. PV, present value, FV, future value, N per time period, rate, return on investment, PMT is SIP. Now, let me show you the portfolio line. Let me just erase this. Now, this. is the default portfolio line at 20 you start earning at 60 you retire and at 90 you expire so again har aadmi ke liye bahut different hota hai so if i don't know anything about you to by the book ye hoti hai portfolio line at 20 you might start earning at 60 you retire 90 you expire right now in my tedx jiit talk maine usme aisa hi example liya tha when i told people that if you invest 30000 right now at the age of 20 you invest 30000 right now at the age of 20 right and every month 
every month from the age of 20 to 60 every month you invest rupees 500 a month where do you invest it you invest it in index which gives you a return of 17 percent or index invest can do you need any knowledge no because long term investment what is the knowledge you need zero right so i want to find out how much will i get at the age of 60 simple now i remember your telex talks you obviously i did not have the time to calculate it in front of everyone so i have figure dikha diya aur jab i clearly jab dikhaya tha na figure to aadhe log to aise the acha so why because people could not believe it people were saying acha mal stage pe to kuch bhi bol ke aa gaye right so if they are watching right now my friend now i'm going to show you the calculation right maths hai maths galat nahi hote right so sabse pehla if when we see the excel formula First, we have to figure out what do we need, right? I'll just write down everything here. Present value, future value, N per, PMT, and rate. ये हमारे पांच variables हैं. Now, what variable do we need to find here? Present value, thirty thousand. N per, it's from twenty to forty. So 20 to 60. So this is the period of 40 years. So yeah. PMT. PMT kya hota hai? SIP. 500 har mahina. Rate. 17%. So what do we need to find out? We need to find out the future value. Right? I need to find out the future value. Abhi tak sab clear ja ra Sure. Ab aapke saan nahi I'm going to solve it. And... I will give you this Excel sheet so that you can solve it on your own also. So simply write equal to FE bracket open. Whatever you want, whatever variable you want, equal to variable bracket open. Now you will see formula khud aapke saamne hai. Let me just correct it. Formula khud aapke saamne hai aapke aar hai. Hmm. Now you just need to fill in the blanks. Sabse pehle it's asking for rate. What is the rate? 17% simply write 17% right uske baad it, it's asking you what and 17% comma highlight n per mein aage n per kya hota hai n per number of period which is the time period time period kitta hai from 20 to 60 40 years right 40 comma pmt pmt kya hai sip SIP kya hota hai? 500 rupay har mahina. Ab yahan pe gadbad hai. Gadbad ye hai 17% saal ka. Right? I am taking 40 years. But this is on a monthly basis. So simply, again very simple mathematics. I am going to keep it, things very simple here. Har cheez, I want to convert my equation from annually to monthly. Simple. Annually to monthly. Or kuch nahi karna mujhe. Now suppose, 17% I get in the entire year. So, what will I get in a month? 17% divided by 12. Simple. 17% is the year of the month. So, how much is it? 17% divided by 12. You get it for a month. Comma. Highlight comes on N per. N per is the time period. Time period is 40 years. 40 years, how many months will it be? 40 into 12. You can write it 480 also, you can write 14 to 12 also, that is totally up to you. Now, accounts has a very simple concept, is that is that when money comes to you, it's positive, when money goes away from you, it's negative. When money comes to me, it's positive, when money goes away from me, it's negative. Now, he's hame bhanai PMT. PMT is SIP, which is rupees 500. Ab, mein paise dal raun, invest kar raun. Toh paise mein paise aa raha hai, ya ja raha hai? Ja raha hai. So, plus ya minus? Minus? So, simply minus 500. Comma. Now, the highlight is on present value. Present value kya hai? Lump sum amount kya diya tha? 30,000. 
थर्टी थाउजेंड प्लस या माइनस पैसा आ रहा है जा रहा है मैं इन्वेस्ट करूं तो पैसा जा रहा है सो सिंपली माइनस वन टू थ्री फोर थर्टी थाउजेंड आई क्लोज द ब्रैकेट नाउ यू नो हाउ मच मनी विल यू गेट वेन यू इन्वेस्ट थर्टी थाउजेंड इफ यू आर ट्वेंटी यू अवॉइड बाइंग स्मार्टफोन यू एंड यू जस्ट पुट फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज अ मंथ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज अ क्या होता है नथिंग नथिंग दोस्त इफ टू पीपल गो टू वॉच अ मूवी दैट इज ऑल्सो अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज अ मंथ If you do this at the age of sixty, you will get a guaranteed return, and I say that with a highlight: guaranteed return of five crores fifty-eight lakhs. Five crores fifty-eight lakhs. आपके सामने हैं, आपके सामने हैं. Thanks. Why do I say guaranteed? Because long run में ये return आएगी ही आएगी. When I say long run, I mean at least a period of five to six years. उससे कम में ये return expect मत करना. Because long run में the knowledge you need is zero. जितना game आपको जितना the knowledge level will increase when you shorter the investment period. Fair? अब I hope this question is clear. Now this is a general question. Now I want to take a very interesting trivia with you. Right now, this is one client who came to me. Right, of course, disclosure norms. I cannot name him, so uh, let me call him Ravi again. So let me call him Ravi, Mr. Ravi Mehta itself. Right. Now he is thirty-three years of age, and I am telling this is an actual story. Right, it can happen to you also. He has a son. Right now, and his son is three years old. Now Ravi is a mid-level manager. So Ravi's annual package is around thirteen to fifteen lakhs. Now, of course, like every concerned parent, he wants to save for his child's education. so he is telling me harsh i want to invest 1 lakh per year for my son's college education my son will go to college after 15 years theek okay? hai this is the time that his son will become 18 years old theek so i asked him okay ravi that is great now what is your target what amount are you looking at You know what he told me? I want an amount of thirty lakh. He wants to invest one lakh every year for fifteen years. That makes it to fifteen lakhs. He wants thirty lakhs, thirty lakh. I mean, people's expectation. I'm talking about it, right? Are you situation understanding? Ravi hai 33 year old insaan hai he is a mid level manager on certain 15 lakhs a month 1 lakh per year he wants to invest for his child's education he is 3 years old right now after 15 years when he becomes 18 he wants 30 lakhs now tell me will ravi want to take risk on his investments nahi why because it is for his child's education he does not want risk now he came to me and asking me harsh what should i invest in what to buy and ho sakta hai aap bhi ho same situation mein ho so let's find it out and this time you are the fund manager for him you are the portfolio manager for him you are his advisor and you will advise him what to buy using this wealth formula now again what do we need to find out of these do we have the present value he is not giving any lump sum amount to present value nahi hai do we have the future value yes he wants 30 lakhs okay do we have n per n per is the time period yes 15 years right we he has n per also do we want the pmt what is pmt sip sip is in putting in 1 lakh every year so fixed amount at regular intervals of time wo bhi hai what do we need to find out the rate we need to find out that how much ravi needs to earn every year How much should his annual growth be every year so that he meets his target? Or if our annual growth pata chal jayegi, tab bhi to usko advise karoge na ki gold khaydo, real estate khaydo, equity khaydo, right? So simply, I am going to write 
equal to rate bracket open right so first n per n per is how much 15 years so 15 comma pmt pmt is how much 1 lakh plus or minus minus you pesa ja raha 1 2 3 4 5 comma present value kuch lump sum amount ravi hame de raha hai nahi zero comma future value how much does he want double which is 30 lakhs 30 lakhs plus hoga ya minus hoga plus kyun kyunki future value chahiye sab catch kar rahe hai na 1 2 3 4 5 6 i close the bracket so for us to give ravi 30 lakhs we need to make him a annual growth rate of annual cagr of nine percent nine percent it's very difficult it's very difficult to achieve karna. Nahin. and this is maths now what should I advise him Achha, Ravi do intraday trading future options mein paisa dal do Nahin. you take the risk you need Ravi ko te risk ki nahi hai Pardon my language, this return you will also get by putting your money in an underperforming mutual fund. So, why risk you Take the risk you need. This is financial literacy. Now, just imagine, if he knew this, would Ravi had come to me? No. He is finding a professional for this. Those in the world of finance, na, who is a professional? A professional is someone who knows that art or skill better than someone else. Right? A doctor. Profession. Why? Because he knows the art of healing. A lawyer, a profession, because he knows the art and science of law. In finance, there is no professional. You are the professional because you only know what are your capabilities and what are your financial targets. And they are different for every person. Now, just imagine about this. Think about it. No percent. इसके लिए क्या बहुत बड़ा तीर या टारगेट चाहिए कुछ भी नहीं द रीजन आई शो दिस कंपैरिजन 15 लाख देन डबल 30 लाख टू शो यू कंपाउंडेड कुछ भी नहीं है सो टेक द रिस्क यू नीड फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट दिस नाउ हाउ विल यू यूज दिस फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड दिस इज दैट आट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस आई कैन नॉट एम्फसाइज इनफ ऑफ दिस नाउ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वांट टू बी रिच ऑल ऑफ यू Right? That is why you're watching this video. Now tell me this. What is rich for you? Rich is very subjective. Hai. Up for a LIG person, the lower income group person, rich kya hota hai? 10 lakh, 20 lakh? Will you be happy in that amount? Most probably not. You'll say, Harsh, rich for me is 50 crores, 100 crores. That's great. Now see, take rich from Mukesh Ambani. You think he's happy in 100 crores? That guy is talking millions and billions. So rich for every person is completely subjective. Now I want you to use the same formula for yourself. Right? Equal to rate bracket open. N per. Aap abhi, how old are you right now? And till what age you want to retire? Now I remember I told you the portfolio line. 20 you start earning. 60 you retire. 90 you expire. Now for every person that is different. Ho sakta you start earning early or you start earning late. Ho sakta you want to retire at 30, 35, 45 or even later. So, wo to default hai. Aapko usko apne hisab se calculate karna bohut zaruri hai. Right? Ab rate pe aate hain. Ab again question pe aate hain. Rate end per likhi. Ab abhi kitne saal ki ho and after what time you want to retire. Kitne saal baad you want to retire. Let's say I write 20. Comma. PMT. PMT rakho zero. Comma. Ab aagya present value. Present value may write down your net worth. What is your net worth right now? Kya hai? Now you can take it on a personal basis also, or you can take it on a family basis. Right? And if you're a student, if you're not earning, take your inheritance. Isko le lo. Jit kuch to idea hoga inheritance kitni milne wali hai. Usko lo and write it minus A, B, C. I'm writing A, B, C because you have to fill this up and write it in minus. And you don't have to share this with anyone. But you have to know that your net worth is what Comma. Future value. Now you fill in the number that defines rich for you. 
वॉट डिफाइंस रिच फॉर यू एक लाख दस लाख बीस लाख तीस करोड़ चालीस करोड़ सौ करोड़ डेढ़ सौ करोड़ दो सौ करोड़ वॉट इज दैट फिगर दैट डिफाइंस रिच फॉर यू नाउ डोंट टेल मी हर्ष आई वॉन्ट अनलिमिटेड अमाउंट ऑफ मनी पूछो इंटरविन करो इंट्रोस्पेक्ट करो कम टू अ फिगर इफ यू हैव आई वॉन्ट अनलिमिटेड अमाउंट ऑफ मनी कुछ स्पेसिफिक नहीं है तो कभी पहुंच नहीं पाओगे मैं आपको टारगेट बनाना चाह रहा हूं यहां पर राइट लेट से इट्स एक्स वाई जेड एंड रिमेंबर ये पॉजिटिव में आएगा नेगेटिव को मत लिखना राइट वाई बिकॉज प्रेजेंट वैल्यू नेगेटिव जब कैश जा रहा है पॉजिटिव आ रहा है वी वॉन्ट दिस मनी आर सेल्स क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंड दंसर इज अभी तो कुछ ऑब्वियसली आंसर आएगा नहीं बट यू विल फाइंड योर एक्स परसेंट एक्स परसेंट और जिस दिन आपको ये मिल गया ना हाफ योर जोनियर फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम इज डन एक्स परसेंट इफ यू नो जॉब मे श्योर Your income increases by X percent. If you are in your business, make sure your business grows by X percent. If your investments, make sure your investments grow by this X percent. जब आपके पास ये आता ना, तब मैं आपको बताता हूँ, ठीक है, boss, ऐसा करो, sir, invest this way. यही नहीं पता तो क्या करेंगे? Target होना बहुत जरूरी है. You know, you don't know me and Aditya from beforehand, but if you know, if you follow social media, you'll see मैं कभी भी छुट्टी पे चला जाता हूँ. क्यों? क्योंकि I don't need to work hard because मेरा X percent beat हो रहा है. Till the point your X percent on an annual basis is not met, करो मेहनत. Office से निकलना मत, business को छोड़ना मत. But जब वो meet हो गया ना, उसके बाद enjoy what you want to do. लोग बोलते हैं हर्ष, I remember they used to tell me, हर्ष शुड गो टू कॉलेज, तुमने तो अपनी you have not seen the happiness, you will miss out on life and the best moments of your life. My friend, I completely disagree with this. क्या कॉलेज के बाद कोई लाइफ है ही नहीं देर अ वेरी फेमस सेइंग दैट इफ यू आर मिडिल क्लास यू डाई एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव यू जस्ट बरीड एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी फिर सुनो यू डाई एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव यू आर बरीड एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी वेन यू डोट ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉलेज से निकले सपने सपने वहीं खत्म लग गए एड्रेस में यू वॉन्ट टू बी दैट मैं नहीं हूं आई वोट डिफाइन दिस आई एम डिफाइन दिस I am making memories after college, and I want the same for you. ये X percent ढूंढो. What is your X percent? फिर investments पे आओ. और ये exact पूरी Excel sheet मैं आपको दे रहा हूँ bonus में. Now if you see here, यहाँ पे ऊपर आप देखेंगे formula सारा mentioned है. तो जैसे मैं आपको Excel sheet दूँगा bonus में आप देखिए link नीचे description में है formula सारा mentioned है. So that once you download it, I want you to calculate it yourself. And don't only carry it. Talk to your family about it. Talk to thirty other people about it. You can only go ahead with all your community. You can not be the only one going ahead. You are the average of five people you hang out with, right? So this was the wealth formula. Now let's talk about the reality we live in. ये तो मैंने जो हमने बात की, it was excellent. Now let's talk about the reality we live in. आप देखोगे. किसी भी इकोनॉमी में एनी इकोनॉमी देर थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ पीपल फर्स्ट कम्स द एल आई जी एल आई जी इज द लोअर इनकम ग्रुप अब दैट कम्स द एम आई जी इट इज द मिडिल इनकम ग्रुप और सबसे ऊपर आता है एच एन आई हाई नेटवर्थ इंडिविजुअल्स अब यू नो इनमें डिफरेंस क्या होता है जो एल आई जी कैटेगरी में जो भी इंडिविजुअल होगा वो अपने पैसे किधर रखेगा वे विल पुट इज मनी ही विल पुट इज मनी इन द हाउस राइट इन अलमारीज इन दिस कबर्ड एम आई जी मिडिल इनकम ग्रुप विच आई एम एज्यूमिंग मोस्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट फॉलोअर वे डू वी कीप आर मनी मैं दोस्त वे डू वी कीप आर मनी वी कीप आर मनी इन बैंक नाउ लेट्स कम टू एच एन आई Where do H and I people keep their money? Where do rich people keep their money? Stock markets. That is the difference. एक अमीर आदमी ना अपने पैसे हमेशा stock markets में ही रखता है. Stock markets is not only a zariya or not only a way for an entrepreneur to get money for his firm. For his company, stock market is one of the only way for you to climb this ladder. If you want to climb from here, or if you want to climb from here, 
Stock market is only ladder. Trust me, if you are you have the caliber of Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, तब तो दोस्त को टेंशन की बात नहीं है तुम अमीर हो गए ही हो गए But if you're a normal person like me, stock market is your only option. 98% of rich people are directly or indirectly linked to stock markets. Their wealth is linked to stock markets. Dunya ki sari wealth hai ka stock markets. Aur hum aankhein band karke nahi nahi stock markets jo hai isko nahi chhuenge. Ab I'll tell you even more surprising facts. Now let's again main aapko practicality bata raha hu. Now let's talk about inflation. Hum sabko inflation pata hai kya hota hai? Inflation is basically mehangai badhna. when the value of currency goes down right now if i take inflation i'll take the cagr itself for long term cagr the long if we take inflation for the past 10 years in our country it is always 5% inflation comes between 3 to 5% long term cagr i am taking 5% now let's take the two categories of people lig and mig right so here is the lig category here is the mig category now the study i'm going to show you right now ye is study ke liye ek economist ko nobel prize liye nominate kiya gaya tha ab ye kya batata hai it is so simple now for a person in lig group lower income group where are their main expenses i'm sure aapke aas paas bhi aapke liye host hai aapke liye kaam karte hain aap jante ho guard bhi ho sakte hain ya aapki house help ho sakti hai where आर दे मेन एक्सपेंसिस टू वर्ड्स घर रोटी कपड़ा बेसिक नेसेसिटीज हाउस शेल्टर क्लोथ एम आर राइट यूल सी नाइंटी परसेंट एट्टी टू नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ देर इनकम इज इन बेसिक स्टफ वेन आई सी इन बेसिक स्टफ आई मीन हाउसिंग क्लोथ फूड एच सी एफ सिंपल राइट नाइंटी परसेंट इनका खर्चा इधर ही होता है इसलिए वॉट हैपन्स वेन दीज पीपल हु फॉल इन दिस कैटेगरी दे फॉल इन टू ट्रेवल मे बी दे हैव अ मेडिकल इमरजेंसी और इफ दे हैव एनी इमरजेंसी हु विल दे रिजॉर्ट टू यू दे विल कम टू यू फॉर हेल्प राइट एंड ऑनस्टली यू शुड डेफिनेटली हेल्प दैम नाउ लेट्स कम टू द मिडिल क्लास ग्रुप नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू यू वॉट अमाउंट ऑफ अ मिडिल क्लास ग्रुप्स इनकम Does a MIG family or a person falling in this category spend on basic necessities that is house, clothes, and food? घर, रोटी, कपड़ा. एक middle class आदमी कितना खर्चा करता है इसपे? Statistically, if I tell you, it's thirty to forty percent. Just thirty to forty percent. आपको तो है main खर्चा किधर है? ये जो खर्चा है, ये जो main खर्चा है. Where is the main expenses going into? These expenses are not in basic stuff. This is in luxury. Luxury items, new phone, new watch, new suit, new clothes, new car. Now think about it. I'll tell you my example. In 2010, when I was in 12th. I begged and pleaded my father to buy me a sneaker which costed me 2000 2000 at that time it was insane the idea was bizarre to buy a shoe worth of 2000 and I bought it now it's 2020 after 10 20 years I take that 2000 rupee note and I go to a showroom of uh, I go to an Adidas showroom what do you think I'll get 2000 crore mein kya mil jayega mujhe Adidas ke showroom mein shoes The only thing you'll get, I'll get in two thousand rupees, is condolences. If I'm lucky, I might get a pair of socks or a pair of slippers. That's it. आप खुद सोचो. Earlier, when you used to go out with your family to have dinner, you'll have soup, you'll have appetizers, you'll have food, you'll have dessert. कितना बिल आता था? Seven hundred, eight hundred, max nine hundred. Now, if three people go to eat street food, 500 bill aata hai think about yourself pehle if you wanted to buy a shirt how much would it cost now if you want to buy a shirt you go to a mall there is nothing less than 1500 nothing less than 1000 you're lucky if you're getting a shirt of 2 300 150 rupees woh zamane gaye 
Now what this economist says is very interesting. He says that जो actual हमारा inflation है country का for LIG that is applicable. Why? Because if you are buying the low grade cloth, if you are buying the low grade food grain, if you are buying एकदम raw चावल आप खरीद रहे हो, जो low grade वाला चावल खरीद रहे हो, उसका inflation पांच percent ही है, that is great. But for middle class नहीं है, because हमारा basic necessities में खर्चा is only three to forty percent. And our main expenses are luxury goods. So luxury goods में आप खुद अपने खर्चे देखो. And that is why the true inflation on a middle class people, the true inflation on this group in which majority of you fall is nine to eleven percent. और बहुत economists हैं इसको बारह percent बोलते हैं. मैं तो तभी भी nine to eleven ही बोल रहा हूँ. खुद calculate कर लो. If you doubt me, if you think harsh, what nonsense are you talking about? Go and calculate your expenses yourself. दोस्त सब समझ आ जाएगा. Ask your mother, ask your household, or see your own accounts. You will see that you are spending so much more and getting so much less. Where do we keep our money? Banks. हम तो banks के लावा कहीं जाएंगे ही नहीं. How much do we get? Six to seven percent. Inflation on us is only nine to nine is nine to eleven percent, and we are earning six to seven percent. इसका मतलब क्या हुआ? Inflation on us is nine to eleven percent, and we are earning six to seven percent in a bank. If we save, that is. So we are minus five to six percent every year. That is why rich are getting richer, poor are getting poorer. And I'll tell you another interesting fact. ये तो inflation की बात होगी ना? Tax की बात कर लेते हैं. LIG Group कभी tax में fall करता है? नहीं. HNI Group they have their high net worth individuals have their money in stock markets. In stock markets you pay the least amount of tax. That is ten percent for long term. If you hold your shares more than one year, it's ten percent. इस देश में ना टैक्स हम सबको पता है कौन देता है सिर्फ मिडिल क्लास आदमी ही टैक्स देता है आई डोंट से ऑन आई डोंट टॉक ऑन इट कुछ कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल नहीं बनाना चाहता मैं बट आपको फैक्ट बता रहा हूं और फैक्ट आपको पता है यू नो दिस ऑलरेडी ये टैक्स नहीं जाता टैक्स यहां जाता है इट्स द वर्स्ट मतलब इफ गवर्नमेंट मेक्स ए पॉलिसी और एनी यू नो या तो एल आई जी होगी ये एच एन आई क्लाइंट्स के लिए होगी हर चीज में बीच में हर चीज में पिस्ता कौन है मिडिल क्लास पीपल आई वॉज रीडिंग स्टार्ट समय एंड दैट स्टार्ट वॉज सेंग दैट इन द नेक्स्ट डेकेड इन द नेक्स्ट कमिंग टेन ईयर्स इंडिया विल हैव एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स पॉपुलेशन इन मिडिल क्लास इंडिया विल हैव द लार्जेस्ट मिडिल क्लास पॉपुलेशन इन द वर्ल्ड ये बहुत सैड चीज है पीपल आर गेटिंग हैप्पी बट आई थिंक इट्स जेनविनली सैड यू नो वाई एक जो मिडिल क्लास आदमी यहाँ पर होता है ना ही इज ऑलवेज जेलेस He is always reading about someone else's success stories. वो दूसरों की success stories ही पढ़ता है, कभी खुद का नहीं करता। एक road rage होती है, people fighting on the streets। वो middle class आदमी होते हैं, because they are frustrated with life, they are irritated। हर चीज़ में इनको पीसा जाता है, they are crushed in everything। You know it। You need to, we need to break that middle class mindset। ये कि middle class mindset है सब कहाँ पे? एक मिडिल क्लास आदमी कभी रिस्क लेगा ही नहीं 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 स्टॉक मार्केट जो है नहीं स्टॉक मार्केट जो है व्हाई बिकॉज माय ग्रैंड फादर टोल्ड मी माय फादर टोल्ड मी एंड इवन इफ यू आस्क योर फादर व्हाई डिड यू लूज मनी इन स्टॉक मार्केट्स आई डोंट मीन एनी ऑफेंस बट नाइन्टी परसेंट चांसेस वो दे वो इन्वेस्टिंग विदाउट प्रॉपर नॉलेज और विदाउट प्रॉपर गाइडेंस और दे हैव हर्ड इट फ्रॉम समन एल्स एंड पीपल डोंट पुट मनी इन स्टॉक मार्केट फॉर वॉट रीजन कितना कर लोगे आप मुझे खुद बताओ The stats are here. You can cross-check everything, and you don't need to even check the stats. Up, खुद के accounts कर लो. Talk to your family about it. You'll see the difference. कब तक middle class में रहोगे यार? कब तक? In finance, the only profession is you. अपनी company के लिए कितना कमाओगे? It's time for you to start working for yourself. ये तो मैं आपको इन्फ्लेशन बहुत बेसिक सा बताया यू नीड टू ब्रेक दैट मिडिल क्लास माइंडसेट बहुत बहुत क्रूशल है क्रूशल इज द वर्ल्ड स्टॉप गेटिंग मोटिवेटेड स्टार्ट गेटिंग इंस्पायर्ड माई ऑब्जेक्टिव हेयर इज टू इंस्पायर यू नॉट टू मोटिवेट यू यू नो मोटिवेशन क्या होती है मिडिल क्लास पर्सन लाइक दिस हाफ फिल्ड बॉटल ठीक है मोटिवेशन क्या है मैंने पानी घुमाया पानी लेट को टच कर रहा है एंड वी फील मोटिवेटेड बट आफ्टरवर्ड्स 
the water will come back to its level. I want to inspire you when I want to increase the level of water. That is what you need to do. हाँ अब बात करते हैं हर्ष चलो ठीक है मान लिया सब कर रहे हैं बट यू तो टोल्ड स्टॉक मार्केट सो इजी देन वाई आर पीपल लर्निंग इट्स अ वेरी लेजिटिमेट पॉइंट यू नो एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई टीच दिस बट ओनली फ्यू टेक एनी एक्शन आधे तो आई विल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट विद यू आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड पीपल हुर वॉचिंग दिस ओनली फाइव विल टेक एक्शन रेस्ट आर जस्ट एंड दिस स्टेटिस्टिकल इफेक्ट नाउ वाई डोंट डेट टेक एक्शन आर दे बैड आर दे स्टूबेड नो द सिंपल रीजन माई फ्रेंड द सिंपल रीजन वाई पीपल डोंट टेक एक्शन बिकॉज स्टॉक मार्केट ऑन पेपर एंड ऑन रियालिटी बहुत डिफरेंट है ऑन पेपर स्टॉक मार्केट इज द बेस्ट थिंग एवर आई प्रूव इट टू यू आई कैन प्रूव इट टू यू इवन बेटर एनी वन कैन प्रूव इट टू यू बट इन रियालिटी लोग यहां पैसा नहीं कमा रहे हैं इन रियालिटी लाइक आई शोड यू इक्विटीज गिव यू द मैक्सिमम रिटर्न बट स्टिल पीपल नॉट अर्निंग माई स्टूडेंट्स कम टू मी एंड टेल मी सर रियल स्टेट इज बेटर दिस इज बेटर दे हैव दो प्री कंसीव मोशन एंड आई करेक्ट दैम वाई बिकॉज वंस यू इन्वेस्ट नो इन्वेस्टमेंट इज नॉट अ लॉन्ग टर्म एफ डी और फिक्स डिपॉजिट ऑफ सेवेंटीन परसेंट यू हैव टू हैव नर्व ऑफ स्टील यू हैव टू फेस द वॉलिटिलिटी द मार्केट्स विल टेस्ट योर पेशेंस एट एवरी गिवन पॉइंट या भगवान से भरोसा उठ जाएगा तुम लोगों का उस लेवल तक मार्केट आपको ले जाएगा उस लेवल तक स्टोन केम टू बी सर वेन ही वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन सर आई ट्वेंटी थर्टी परसेंट लॉस आई वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन यू मैंने कहा दोस्त सबसे पहले यूर लकी यूर ओनली लिमिटेड टू ट्वेंटी थर्टी परसेंट ही वॉज एक्चुअली वेरी लकी If you are an avid investor, or if you know someone who's investing, you know it for yourself. You need to break that mindset. You need to break that middle class mindset. वो बहुत जरूरी है to survive in stock markets. This is the ground reality. This is our reality. इसको तोड़ो. इससे बाहर निकलो. And you अकेले निकलोगे. You have to share this with everyone. Share this video with your friends. Talk to your friends about it. जो मैंने आपसे बात की टेक टाइम एंड टॉक टू योर फ्रेंड्स अबाउट इट डिस्कस दिस यूल सी दैट माइंड सेट जो मैं बोल रहा हूं आपको खुद दिख जाएगा यू नो अब मैं क्या करना चाह रहा हूं I want to salute you. Because you have made it till this. far i know it's not easy to give your attention span for 2 hours it is not easy to stick to that screen but you've done it so so i'm very very proud of you aaj humne bahut kuch explore kiya what is stock markets how do prices move case studies we took of harsh mehta warren buffett then types of investors types of studies then we took then we took strategy then we took an action plan bonus down karna mat bhulna now if you are someone who is a beginner in stock markets again you are just want you just want to explore stock market ab dekhna chahiye how to start off how to start off if that is the case with you then those congratulations you are now above 70% of indian retail investors in our country knowledge wise right ask anyone ask you talk to investors you'll come to know right now when you read news you will understand it now when you talk to people you will be able to comprehend it and you have a simple strategy to move forward to buy index funds or bonus se aap khud ke liye calculate karo then if you are someone again jo explore karna chahta who just want to get clarity who just want to get an idea there you go my friend but if you are someone and you tell me harsh dekho i am ready for the next well harsh i want to move to the next well harsh i feel stock markets for me and i love the art of investment and trading and i want to explore it then dost i want to share my secret with you i want to share my secret for the fact ki how to survive in stock markets profits chhod do how to survive ki main baat kar raha hu it's been 8 9 years for me in stock markets and after that getting beaten down every single point of time by society also by everyone also i'm here you know interesting cheez batao pehle na when i was i didn't go to college people used to make fun ki are dekh college nahi ja raha are he is not doing stock markets and if you're an investor you know it are stock market ye to barbaad ho gaya what is he doing now when we reached this stage mein aita now we have become inspiration for everyone now uh, relatives and my friends they say ki see look at harsh how hard he worked right now people might make fun of you they will make fun of you and they should make fun of you right now even some part of you might think that you're a complete loser 
इट्स ओके बिकॉज ट्रस्ट मी यही चीज ना तुम्हारी टेडेक्स टॉक का टॉपिक होगा सो डोंट गिव अप द आर्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट आई नो सोसाइटी से बहुत प्रेशर आ रहा होगा अभी बट डोंट गिव इट अप टू नो माई सीक्रेट हाउ आई हैव सर्वाइव फॉर सो लॉन्ग टू नो माई सीक्रेट कि मैं स्टॉक मार्केट से प्रॉफिट कैसे बना हाउ टू बी सक्सेसफुल इन स्टॉक मार्केट आई एम वेटिंग फॉर यू एट द नेक्स्ट लेवल विजिट माई वेबसाइट एंड सी माई सीक्रेट विच इज वेटिंग फॉर यू एंड आई वुड लव टू हेयर योर कमेंट्स ऑन इट टेल दैन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग कनेक्टेड विद मी दिस इज गोल अ स्कूल ऑफ फाइनेंस फाइनेंशियली इंपॉर्टेंट